right, all right, all right. Everyone stand to your feet. Good afternoon. We want to welcome you to Redemption House Life Center's 2.30 service. We are closing out. What an amazing conference. If you are in this building, please make yourself available to us. Why don't we all just come and find a spot here in this altar. Let's come together. Let's begin to worship as God begins to bless us here. We've had such a wonderful, wonderful time in this conference. How many of you enjoyed this conference? That was, that was okay if it just started. How many of you have really enjoyed this conference? So let's take the opportunity today just to worship and allow God to do deeper in our hearts what he wants to do. Man, such a great, a great words that have come forth uh, with, with every speaker that we have from Bill Vanderbush, Pastor David, Tony Brazelton. Man, what an amazing time. So we just want to invite everybody. Come on, let's not get shy. This is Redemption House. This is, this is, we, this is where we worship at. We want to take the opportunity to do that. I just want you to lift your hands right now. I want you to welcome the Holy Spirit into this place. All of you intercessors, all of you people who love Jesus, let's just welcome God. Father, we love you today. Lord, we thank you again for this opportunity to step into your house to worship you, Father. We ask, God, that you would just send angels right now. God, dispatch angels to your people. God, allow them to feel your spirit. God, we welcome you, Holy Spirit, God. Let's worship together. Come on. Wow, we had so many incredible speakers and worship leaders over this weekend. You know, Tony Brazelton, Bill Vanderbush, Jason Upton, they left an incredible deposit into this house. That the air, the atmosphere is still saturated with it. We're going to pray to what God is doing in this place. We're going to give God all of our hearts. We're going to worship him with all of our hearts, all of our minds, and all of our strength in this place. For he is worthy to be praised. in this place. God of miracles, King of majesty, we expect your glory. We expect your glory. Signs and wonders for all the world to see. We expect your glory. We expect your glory. our hands for Jesus in this place as an act of praise. Let every blind, let every blind I see, let every captive be free, let every chain be broken by the power of your word spoken. Let every blind I see, let every captive be free, let every chain be broken. Sing it to your neighbor. Let every blind I see, let every captive be free, let every chain be broken by the power of your One more time. Let every blind I see, let every captive be free, let every chain be broken by the power of your words spoken.
Pastor David, I need your technology anointing on this keyboard. <laughs> Come on. Stretch your hands towards this keyboard. Come on. The glory will not leave this place. Yes. Of the keyboard. <laughs> The great I am, all of our praise in this place. Come on, Valerie.
song. Dancing and singing the Father's song. Come on, it's a stirring of glory in this place. You are dancing and singing the Father's song. for a bit.
I've sung, oh, how is it new to you? How is it new to me? And he said, sing it from the place that you're in, declaring that I am holy. I am the Lord God Almighty. Place the throne, the mercy seat, on top of whatever situation you're in. And from that place, declare that he is holy. And sing the same lyrics, but it'll be a new song. It'll be a new song because it'll release a fragrance, a fragrance to heaven. I just want to, I just hear the scripture going through my heart, and I, I just wanna, want you guys to hear this, because she was talking about our fragrance and all that. The Lord, the Lord was kind of singing a melody to me, but I'll spare you because my throat hurts, and who knows what will come out right now. Um, but, but the Lord is not after our great songs or lyrics, poetry. He's not after the words that come out of our mouth, because the Lord doesn't look like man on the outward appearance. The Lord doesn't look at the fragrance of our words, the floweriness, the way we speak, but the Lord looks at the heart. And it's the heart that the Lord sees. It's the heart that the Lord smells, the fragrance of your heart. And when we're singing songs, it's about where your heart's at that produces the fragrance of where you're at. And it's the fragrance that the Lord hears. A, there was a time in the children of Israel's day when he says they're their lips are, are with me, but their hearts are far from me. And, and God's returning the one new man to be in alignment where what he says is just a small glimpse of the beauty that his heart wants to lavish on the Lord. And here's what I'm saying. You might not know the right words. And God's not looking at the rightness of your words. He's looking at the rightness of your heart. And so, Father, I just thank you for just the beauty of what you see when you look at your children. The beauty of what you see when you look at us. It's all together new every morning, your mercies. And so, you sing from that place of, of thanksgiving and just hope and, and, and joy. And the Lord's hearing your new song. Your new song is... It's a song of deliverance. It's a song of freedom. It's a song of redemption. And I'll tell you, when, when the Lord hears, he that's what the angels see, by the way. The angels are seeing how God is looking past everything we say and grabbing a hold of the beauty of our heart. 
And as he starts to breathe on our heart, it begins to blossom, it begins to flower, and the angels are like, how did he do that? How did he take corruption and make incorruption? How did he take destitute and make it beauty? I'll tell you what, the Lord is going to breathe on this. The, let's just do something else right now. Well, let's do something else. And I want you guys to just, um, can we do, uh, this song you guys don't even probably know, but can we do, uh, that would be fun if you don't know it. <laughs> Heart of Worship. When the music fades. Now this song was written by a past, this song was written after three months sabbatical of the church taking a break from music. They said, you know, we're just doing music to do music. But I'm really kind of tired of us doing songs when our hearts aren't connected. I'm really kind of tired of, and the pastor shut it down. He said, no more worship team. The worship team, you guys just stay in the congregation and just get th some things right. And this song was birthed. I should have known Jeremy would. If he didn't know it, he would figure it out. <laughs> That's good when you have a worship team that you could just trust in. I love you guys. Love you, Do you know the song? Awesome. Come on. Can you put your hands together for an incredible worship team? Come on. What a blessing. I don't know how this is happening right now. It's going to work. In Jesus' name.
come on, can we just lift our voices in worship in this place? to your king. to the heart of worship. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus, man. Put your hands together for Jesus, man. So as we were worshiping, just stay right where you're at. You know, this morning we left in a very, very solemn time of forgiveness. You know, my daughter asked me, she said, Daddy, why are they laying on the floor? I said, because you're at Redemption House. No, I told her, I said, because... I said, because, Gabriella, they have an opportunity to find a place in their lives where they let things go. And that's what that heart of worship is. See, Jesus died for your forgiveness. And there's freedom in that forgiveness. Freedom that those of us that are here today that are battling decisions or battling things that need to be made, your lifestyles are completely changing. God has granted you the freedom in releasing your forgiveness this morning. Amen. Somebody agree with me with that. Your freedom was released this morning as you released your forgiveness to somebody else because your forgiveness has already been paid for. That's where we are today. That's what the heart of worship is. The heart of worship is taking the opportunity to understand who Jesus really is and what he did. Amen. If we could just have the lights, if you folks could make your way back to your seats, we're going to transition into our next part of service. What a sweet spirit. 